Right now, the new meta on YouTube is 3D. Channels are pulling in millions of views, and what's amazing is that most of them are probably running on Blender. Look at creators like Fern, Neo, and Branch Education. They've cracked the code. You don't need a Hollywood studio, you don't need a Pixar pipeline. With Blender, you can jump in and make scenes that are fast, clean, and easy to render. And the quality of what goes viral is debatable. Yes, channels like Branch Education sink in hundreds of hours to produce high-quality educational material, but there are also creators who wake up, open Blender, whip something together in two minutes, and get 10 times the views. So whether you go for quality or quantity, as long as you understand the meta, you're bound to make money. If you've got knowledge in any field, YouTube is your playground. Pick a niche, own it, and suddenly you're the go-to channel. Look at Branch Education. When people want to know how tech works, that's the name that pops up. His videos are insanely detailed, but if you look closer, it's all stuff a regular Blender artist can do. The modeling, solid, but nothing out of reach. The animations, mostly rotating, scaling, and moving objects with keyframes. No crazy rigs, no studio pipelines. Sprinkle in some geometry nodes for procedural tricks, and you're golden. And that's the kicker. This isn't locked away for elites. These are skills you can learn today. Courses like the Master Geometry Nodes course literally walk you through the exact tools being used in these million view videos. Animating curves, procedural setups, the works. This is the new creator economy meta, and Blender artists are sitting right on the edge of it. And here's where it gets even more hype. Sometimes you don't even need to be an expert. You can just vibe your way through it. Check out The Evolution of Cars by Canny. It's pure sarcasm, zero historical accuracy, and guess what? People eat it up. The channel's at 100K subs, but pulling millions of views. That one video, 200K views in a month. Plenty of million sub channels can't touch that, and it's only two minutes long. Most of the assets, pre-made. Trees, buildings, textures, all from libraries. You can level up your channel instantly by using higher quality assets with polished details and textures, thanks to add-ons and libraries. For example, Arborea trees are incredibly detailed and can be instanced right up close to the camera without breaking immersion. If you're building environments, deserts, forests, even snowy seasons, the Nature Generator gives you everything you need to set it up in just a few minutes. Take a look at this video from Neo, another YouTube channel pulling in millions of views. The video is about how the US president travels, and right from the opening scene, you'll notice something. The render isn't anything special. In fact, it feels a bit underwhelming in terms of detail, and they probably spent a lot of time modeling those buildings. But imagine if they had used something like the city generator. The result would have had far more detail, busy streets filled with traffic, and a much richer atmosphere, all while taking less time to produce. You don't have to model everything from scratch. Don't think of 3D as just a showcase of what you do. Think of it as a way to establish the story in a way no other medium could, especially on the same budget. A great example of this is Fern, an investigative style channel that covers modern mysteries, unsolved cases, and more. Their visuals are intentionally simple. Faceless characters, no advanced skin shaders, minimal clothing detail. The environments aren't overloaded either. And that's the point. It's more than enough to get the story across. Because of this simplicity, each frame probably takes just a few seconds to render, which means most of their time can go into what actually matters, writing and researching compelling topics. Or you can swing in the complete opposite direction and go full meme channel, no writing skills needed. There's a channel out there making videos about how things work, except the twist is they give objects digestive systems and organs. It sounds ridiculous, but it works. Their latest upload just 22 hours ago already has over 100k views. The one before that, a spaceship with organs for parts, pulled in 240k views in just 9 days. And another one about how a ship works nearly hit a million views in only 2 weeks. It looks silly, but I get why people watch it. You can hate the game, but don't hate the player. Plus, right there in the channel description, it says they use Blender, so I'm 100% backing everything they do. What's even more impressive is that some of these channels are actually owned by the same person. That means one creator can multiply their income tenfold by running multiple channels and shutting out the competition. And with this generation, the dumber the video, the more views it gets. Take the Cat Lovers Forum channel, for example. It probably started out as a normal pet care channel with uploads like, don't 
do these things to your cats or how, how to entertain your cats. Those videos were getting around 2,000 views each. But then they made a video called How a Cat Works, and in just three weeks, it pulled nearly a million views. Just to be clear, that's totally not how cats work. I'm no biologist, but I'm pretty sure that's not it. Now, the problem with this type of channel is longevity. Going viral is easy, but keeping the momentum is hard. If you want to build a sustainable career as a 3D artist, one that can outlast even AI, the key is having expert level knowledge in a field and combining it with 3D. That's when you get channels like Sabin's Civil Engineering. He explains complex civil engineering concepts using simple 3D models. Nothing flashy, no cinematic VFX, probably rendered in EV for speed. No glass shaders, no reflections, just clean and clear visuals. These kinds of videos have long shelf life. They keep pulling views and income for years after they're uploaded, with the potential to resurface whenever the topic becomes relevant again. For example, on my own channel, some of my top performing videos are Make Your First Movie in Blender and Everything Blender Can Do in one video. They were released over a year ago, and to this day, they're still outperforming everything else I upload each month. That's the power of evergreen, knowledge-driven content. Other examples of creators taking this route include Jared Owen. Check out his latest video, Building the Space Station. This is the kind of quality that, if you aim for it, will cost you serious time. The level of detail in that model makes me wonder if he pulled the actual data from NASA or another government source, or maybe he has a team helping him. Either way, it's next level. You can also dive into the investigative niche, where channels like Neo and Fern have had a lot of success. They investigate real-life stories and use 3D to visualize everything, combining it with news articles and real footage to tell compelling narratives. The only real skill you need is picking captivating topics. The tools are already at your fingertips. Add-ons like Motion Tracker let you merge 3D with live-action stories, just like Neo and Fern. Geotagger helps you drop in floating text and infographics. Need people in your shots? Use procedural crowds. And beyond that, there are hundreds of add-ons out there to make these videos easier, faster, and more polished. If you want to start making videos like these, you don't have to do it alone. I'll be uploading some free models to help you get started over at blendereverything.com. That way, you can focus on telling the story and polishing the visuals without sinking months into modeling everything from scratch.